representing charities and other organizations, patronage is the largest thing. And all we met with the king, of course, will be leading that role in the charity. Very much so. I mean, you were saying everything that is. Yeah, I'm just saying, the days before the church travel, um, it's hard for people to get to you know, an extraordinary. And that was so They've been remarkably sympathetic towards the royal family. They've been notable really as well for the fact most of these tributes are to do with leadership, they're to do with constancy, they're to do with more than that, it's 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 about solidarity. It's about watching the service together with others. There's a sense of camaraderie there, there's a sense of friendship, a sense of togetherness all the kind of things that uh, Her Majesty uh, had been all about. Very important for people to come together, especially at a time like this of national mourning. Um, we're all mourning in one way or another. Uh, the passing of an era, the time of transition into the unknown, uh, although we know a little bit about what the future holds, but not quite uh, fully. So there's a fair amount of apprehension around a bit of uh, anxiety. <laughs> And uh, I'm pleased that here yeah, the cathedral in God's house, we're able to offer a space for people to gather. So we feel very priv privileged that she did come uh, to us and uh, what a wonderful visit that was. I think uh, the city will be the poorer uh, in terms of um, their passing because uh, we will miss her. She, she, knows, she, she had a great affection for the city. Uh, we have always welcomed her very warmly, uh, as well as other members of the royal family. Well, I, I, the, well, I remember all of the visit, uh, uh, most especially when I gave her six jars of, of heavenly honey as a gift, uh, for, and I pointed to the roof of the cathedral where the honey uh, is manufactured by our thousands of bees. And she was quite fascinated by it all. And uh, she's a great lover of uh, cathedral honey. So. Um, and we've got some lovely photographs uh, that, that have captured that moment. So, so. We, we, we served the Queen, the pair of us, for our, our, our career, like, you know, and she was our Commander-in-Chief, so it's only right that you should show respect. Yeah. We would have gone down to London, but I just think it was a bit of a... By the time you got down there and, and to come back and try and find somewhere, it, we get to see it all here rather than just a passing, you see. So yeah. To see it on the big screen, but you have to be here and show exactly what we, she thought of us and what we thought of her, like, you know. Yeah. I don't think there'll be anybody else like her anymore. There's never been anybody else like her before, like. And there'll never be another queen in our generation. These three future kings to come, so it's, it's a one-off, this. Yeah. I think it'd be very emotional, because, obviously, like most people, the, the queen has been the queen all of my life. I, I was born in 1953, which was the year of coronation. And so she's the only head of state I've ever known, as, as for most of us. And, you know, it's been a very sad time for everybody. It was not only has she been the head of the country for so long, but every, every movement she's made, every facial expression, or everything to do with family, everything's been done in the public eye, which must be very, very difficult to do all of that and, and not actually put a foot wrong in 70 years. It's quite amazing. Yeah, and I've done the Duke of Edinburgh award all my life uh, helping people so and I've been to the garden party and I, I've got to say you couldn't meet a nicer person who did a lot of work for everybody not of all denominations of all you know disabilities everything and yeah you've got to you've got to show that she is, is was definitely an exceptional person so when did you and she wants to help everybody and when she made that vow she meant it then and she's lived up to it which is very rare for a lot of people she means a lot to a lot of people yeah from all around the world and it's nice to see that everybody's responded well to that